Hi everyone, my name is Anne Haxt and this is another episode of Satisfactory. Here we are, back in the main base. As you can see, not much has changed. I'm still planning my big build where I consolidate everything. There's a truck delivering some coal down to the truck stop there. He will eventually find a way to get around the corner of that building. They have pretty good AI. Off we get. Into the jelly. And I have all the equipment ready to build a smelter and a miner too at our Caterium uh, Caterium source. I'm going to have to build a uh, power extension of some kind. Maybe if I remove one of these it will help. Not yet, anyway. Try it out with proper fuel, it should be more efficient. meaning it will run for longer without needing to be refueled. That's my theory anyway. Okay, we'll let it get on with it again. Its program includes a pause there, so it'll sit there for a little while. Oh, yes, I've got some new uh, exoskeletal boots, which let me jump higher and run faster and uh, prevent fall damage. A little bit, anyway. Still getting used to them, as you can see. Wanted to show you quickly all the things that have been unlocked. Uh, a few things here that you might not have seen in previous episodes. Uh, let me see. Well, the Kateria more, obviously, the hard drives, we've found a few more of those. The Nobelisk is to do with the explosives, I haven't developed that one yet. A supercomputer, which uh, is something I've just unlocked. The Quick Wire, which is a better version of, of wire made from Katerium. And various things like that, the Sulphur. Nothing super exciting. But we have unlocked some hidden milestones those, including the Caterium technology. Now this is going to help us develop a couple of things uh, when we unlock this one. One of which is an AI limiter to stop AIs going rogue, which sounds very interesting. And there were a few other things we locked, unlocked along the way. Uh, the explosives uh, from the sulphur and things like that. Haven't had the chance to try that yet, haven't found a, a sulfur deposit I can access yet. Um, I might be stuck finding some explosives, sorry, some boulders of sulfur around the place. That's how I found the first lot that I found. Sounds like the truck just went past, so it's running properly again. And the gas mask and the jetpack, which I'm looking forward to unlocking. I think I am going to set up proper manufacturing uh, for the more complex components before uh, to actually make that the milestone components, rather than trying to make them by hand again. It's just getting into such large amounts. Oh, okay. I may have jumped the gun there. There he goes. 
Okay, now I've loaded some of the equipment into the storage here. Do one more check. We've got our portable miners, extra fuel, extra bits and pieces just in case we need to build something. Put the proper fuel in. And I think we're ready to go. Wagons roll. Now we're going to try down this way. I haven't actually driven very far down here. We'll see what we can see. It's a lovely, enormous bird floating around. Fortunately, he seems to be phasing through that space elevator there. I'm quite sure what's going on there. Circle of flowers here. I'm not quite sure why. This would have been a good spot to build too. Though it doesn't appear to be very near any resources. There might be some there. No. Almost looked like an oil source there. But I would have picked it up if there was one that close. So it looks like the water doesn't extend uh, down to a sea or another big lake. It actually drops into a waterfall here, like a big, uh, big hole in the ground, basically. Don't want to get too close to the edge there. Looks like there's a power slug there on that little outcrop. I'll have to wait till I get the jetpack for that one, I think. I'll have to try and get up there too. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be safe to go down there. But you never know. It may look different when I get down onto that platform and there's a bit less mist. But, oh look, a green power slug of all things. Which I have no space for in my inventory. The locals are not happy about me being here. Don't want to waste one of my medical inhalers, I'll just eat a few berries. It's probably much more inefficient, but until I can find more fly agaric. Sorry, no, not fly agaric, bacon agaric mushrooms. Uh, I won't be able to make any more. Unless I want to go kill a bunch of those sorts of things and get, I think it's alien organs I can make them out of as well. little rocks. Did wonder if they were something. And I still got to get something. Don't like to dump anything or bin it. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh well, they do tend to travel in pairs. No idea where the big guy went. They must be able to walk down over the edge there. There must be a ledge I'm not seeing. I 
Oh, there he is. Or she. <laughs> I always say that. I should just make it a rule to always call them she. And then I can remember to say, or he, for a little while. And again, there's no reason why they would actually have a sex. Something that only happens on Earth. Oh, don't step on me. And there's my little orange, orangey pink friend. Never quite worked out if he wants to be friends or to eat me. Those legs look so spindly, I don't want to run into them. And this looks like there's a little passage, cliff, path down there. Maybe leads to something interesting. I'll have to come back and have another look. The moment we have a job to do, I've got to get this Kateria mining set up. Find a safe route for trucks if I'm going to set up a some kind of transport route. But it's looking like the way I went earlier is really the only way I can go. We could probably just drive off there and be fine, but I do want to find something that the AI trucks can handle. And they'd still need a path back anyway. This looks promising. Mineral source. Limestone. And we're back at base. Oh well, we got a green power slug out of it, so it wasn't a loss, and we did get to explore some more of the map.
still quite a lot of it I haven't explored. Mostly the south southeast portion of the map. I don't think I've really explored yet. Okay, there's the edge of the waterfall. And I'm probably better off just following the shoreline in the shallow water here. As long as I don't go too deep, I should be okay. Oh look, a green power slug, and right on the border too. Seems to be a bit of a transition zone, just at this point. Always a little bit of a freeze as we go through. We're doing well on the power slugs today. I do feel kind of sorry for them, but... I'm guessing that's an iron ore boulder. Let's double check. Oh, SAM ore. Strange alien mineral ore, which is actually useless, so I won't bother. <laughs> Something that's being added to the game, I believe. starting to look familiar. Here we are, at our Caterium mine. Well, our soon-to-be Caterium mine. Maybe I should have just built a big ramp. It's a bit easier to get up and down. And I could probably send the trucks up and down it too. Oh well. I've built the staircase, so we'll stick with that for now. I don't know that I'll ever be transporting enough Caterium ingots to justify a truck stop. Oh, that's interesting. I somehow ended up with leaves in the fuel tank. everything I need.
So, we've got a couple of big trees here. I don't really want to cut them down. So I need to work out just what I'm going to be doing. I guess we'll just build as much of the infrastructure up here as we can. Starting with the mining rig there. And we'll point it over here. the smelter. It's a bigger gap than I really need, but I can always add a uh, Conveyor belt splitter last uh, later if I need the ore for something. I probably should. Put up a biopower plant just so that we can get some ingots made while I'm hooking up the main power supply. Because I'd like to hook this up to the oil power station. The fuel power station, I should say. It runs on fuel. I don't have the elements to actually make another one. But this will do for the moment. There should be enough power to run the mine and the smelter. But we've got to find a good spot. Turn around that way so if I have to top it up, I don't have to go around here. Okay. There goes the drill. Now I just need to program and power the smelter. I oh know, we've already got that. A storage box. It would be better to use the larger storage box but they do require some more advanced components that I don't have with me. Okay so we should have a nice supply of ingots by the time we come back. A little bit too high. And get some of these power poles built. Should eventually connect the network of poles to the main base as well and then I can build a few more power stations uh, that run on fuel down here
one of the upgrades that the Caterium provides is an upgraded version of the power poles that can handle eight connections instead of four. Which is convenient, but not especially crucial. I haven't built any of them yet. Great if it would give you some kind of... Well, maybe it does give you an estimate of how far it is. Well, that's interesting, because it said the same amount, but it wouldn't work at this spot. Making the assumption here I'll be able to build them in the water. I don't imagine there'll be any problem. Getting better at judging the distance, anyway. I would have been very surprised if it wouldn't work in the water, but you never know sometimes. This has been a very well made game, so I'd be very surprised if they'd done something like that. Almost there. I think those things are some kind of trees. I'll have to try and cut one down with the chainsaw one of these days. Out of cable.
that should be the last one. Now I'll just make a connection. Hopefully it won't blow any fuses. Perfection. Of course, what happens when the uh, bioreactor runs out of fuel, I don't know. Maybe just slightly too much. But it should be fine. I do believe the fuel generator here generates a lot of power. Doesn't seem to be having any trouble running the refinery and the two mines here. Uh, pumps, I should say. Nope, everything's still running nicely. And it doesn't look like we're anywhere near the capacity. And we've got lots of containers full of oil, which is great. Now they've got yellow bars at the top, that's an indicator of whether they're working or not, but I believe that's just because they're, they're actually full and no more can be put into the containers or go through to the power station at the, at the moment, or the refinery. It might be worth building some truck stations here. The only problem is I don't really have the components to be building uh, modular frames very easily. Certainly not computers. They're one of the most complex uh, manufacturing jobs that I have or can most complex manufacturing recipes that I have is probably a better way to say it. Now pick up some fuel. like everything's working the way it should. I'll have to make some room in my inventory. Let's see. stares mystified at his inventory, trying to decide what he can put down. I think we're there. I might build one of those at the Caterium mine. Get the ingots down from the cliff to the beach level and then build a truck stop. But something for the future. It's certainly not something we're going to need to do straight away. I'll have to see what the demand for Caterium is. I have an alternate recipe that allows me to use uh, a single Caterium ingot, I believe, with one copper ingot to cut down on the amount of Caterium I actually need to uh, make the quick wire. I believe that was one of the alternate recipes I found on one of the crashed pod hard drives. There's another one I'm using for, uh, which is an alternate recipe for the heavy modular frame. 
that requires let me see instead of screws it has something else I'm trying to remember now oh well something for the next video when I'm back at the base I'll point out the alternate recipe we go. Okay, let's grab some ingots. Everything is still running, which is a positive sign. <laughs> of course, I've got no space. Yeah, I probably shouldn't jump off. And I might be able to jump down. Pretty sure the mine works a lot faster than the smelter, so I might pop a couple of the power shards into the smelter. The overclocking doesn't seem to have any negative effects apart from using more power. I'm going to find out. <laughs> Since I'm going to put in three into this one, give it the maximum overclock and see what happens. When I spot the power shards, which are right in front of me, no doubt, here they are. Go the big jump. Makes it.
it's hard to really tell, but it does seem to be going a little bit faster. The numbers say it's going faster, so I'll, I'll believe it. It might be worth building a second storage container, but I don't think I'll worry at this moment. It means another trip up and down the stairs. But I guess there's no point having it go to waste. Would be nice to come back to tour a couple of full containers of Katerium, Katerium ingots and not have to wait around. That is very close to that wall. Close enough though. Lovely shiny ingots. Filling up fast. Got plenty of that at base, so probably should take the oil. I did at one stage think I would never use all the cement I was making, but that's not turned out to be true. I've been building lots. one of the fun things about this game. I haven't really explored uh, the building as much as I could have. Something I'll have to start doing now. I want to set up an efficient production line from ore to finished products. With 
the minimum amount of me having to put uh, stuff into the machines or hand make it anyway. That looks like as far as we can go without going off the waterfall, so this must be where we came down. Of course, everything looks different when you're coming from the other direction. Right. Interesting. Hopefully I can get it without ending up a meal for the creature. Only looks like one of them there. Don't think he's noticed me. Oh, not enough space. <laughs> I don't want to throw anything away and I'm going to get shot. Uh, just wait for him to lose interest. Wherever he's gotten to. Oh, no. Not what I wanted to do. Better. Oh. Keep the rock between him and me. A Summer Sloop WIP, which I assume stands for Work in Progress. Those ones are particularly nasty, they shoot plasma instead of just normal fire. Oh, another beach. Okay, it wasn't quite... Oh! Took that one a little bit fast. Luckily, it's uh, easy to turn it back over. It doesn't even damage the truck, which is great. Yeah, that's definitely the waterfall. I don't think there's anywhere else I can get up here. This is starting to look a little bit familiar. Almost time. Well, that's probably a good spot to leave it. I've got to unload all of my uh, oil and caterium and see if I can work out how I'm going to rebuild this base. I've got a few ideas. I might get on with it tonight and have something to show you all tomorrow. Anyway, see you soon and have a great day or night wherever you are.